Hey, what's up everyone? So, if you watched my Saturn video, the one-handed swap trick, then you'll know that I was having some issues getting my um, Dreamcast to run the um, SD loader. Well, <laughs> I didn't notice this before, but so I used to have two different Dreamcasts, this one and another one that had a controller port go out on and I was getting ready to fix the controller port but one of my friends was like well hey man I could really use that for parts and everything so we worked out a trade well that was the one that I played backed up games on well this one here I didn't notice this until just the other day that if you flip her around and you look at the sticker you'll see that circled 2 down there towards the NTSC well this is a Rev 2 Dreamcast, so there are 0, 1, and 2. 2 is the too little, too late kind of thing. <laughs> it's when Dreamcast, it's when Sega was doing their best to um, make it so you couldn't play back, backed up games on the system because the system was hacked, I think, like around a week or so after it was released. Um, so, yeah, too little, too late. It, it is effective. It will not play backed up games, or at least, like, probably not without, like, a mod chip or something. But I couldn't get them to play just as is. And so, I bought this Dreamcast. Now, this Dreamcast has a circled one on the bottom of it. And as you can see, it's just Shinola. It is a beautiful looking Dreamcast nice black and everything uh, I still kinda wish that it didn't say Sega Sports necessarily you know I kinda don't really care for the sports aspect of it uh, but it, it still looks really good and you know I'm not gonna try to remove that or anything like that because uh, I mean this console is just mint either way um, I got the SD card plugged in back there and uh, yeah we'll go ahead and turn her on It's going to go ahead and load Dream Shell 4.0. It's going to check for the SD card, which I have an 8 gig in there right now. I also have my um, uh, keyboard kind of just hooked up on top of my Intellivision. There's my controller and you can see it says main menu right now and there's my Dreamcast mouse it's in the dream shell right now it has a lot of cool options it has a region changer it has a speed test whatever that is it has the ability to rip uh, your actual uh, authentic Dreamcast games it has a file manager it has a BIOS flasher and uh, a, U a UMV or UM <laughs> VMU manager which is also kinda cool either way the one that we mainly want right now is the ISO loader and I'm using the mouse to navigate for now but I notice that once I get to here I can't it won't let me scroll d scroll down with the scroll wheel or anything um, so I have to hold X as it says and then use the stick to kind of scroll down and it's, it's pretty annoying I'm going all the way down it and it won't actually go all the way down there not a fan of that and sometimes I can get it and sometimes I can't and sometimes it kinda of messes everything up like that either way I'll show you a game this is gonna be a uh, homebrew I believe it's uh, based off the Beats of Rage engine. I could be mistaken though. But I'm pretty sure it is. Takes a second to load. Loading times. Not the greatest on this thing. Don't expect uh, like hard drive performance. You're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know.
So for the most part, it loads like these homebrew kind of things pretty fast. You'll notice some jitter when I, as I'm killing enemies like that, you can see a jitter. Either way, it does work. So what's good about these homebrew games is when you go to end game, you can actually uh, usually get out through this menu. Although th with this particular game, I'm, I'm pressing everything I can and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So we'll just go ahead and reset it. And it's once again going to check. Alright, now let's go back to this ISO loader. And go back to SD here. And then I gotta do the hold X button and press down on the analog stick again. I'll show you how um, an actual game works for a uh, you know game that was actually released. Quite a bit of loading. Don't even know if it's working. It's, all we got is a black screen. Oh, there it goes. So obviously a lot of audio clipping there. It kind of sounded like dog shit. The loading screens here seem about on par. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty bad. A lot of stutter. Let's see if we can skip it. We can. Now this seems to be good. <laughs> oh. Hello, this is Maria. I'm Maria. I'll be in charge of your flight. Blah, blah, blah. Loading, loading, loading. Ready? No. Wait, I wasn't ready. I said I wasn't ready. Anyhow, you can see that it's working pretty well once it's in game. Pulling landing gears. We uh, uh oh, boom. Training aborted. <laughs> Left down. Yeah, we'll go ahead and restart it. Anyhow, um, you know, I I don't think that this thing, this SD card loader is really essential to have you know it, it it is interesting it offers some cool features you got to jump through a lot of hoops uh, to get it to work you can't use standard 
Dreamcast ISOs, ones that have, you know, one ones that are self-booting. You got to use special ones that have been made to work with the Dream Shell or through a uh, SD loader. And so you can actually make your uh, ISOs do that yourself, but you once again have to jump through more hoops in order to get that to work. And then once you do get them to work, um, they're jittery. Uh, there's some games that are really, really badly jittery until they get to the actual game. And then, uh, and then they're pretty much fine. You'll see something every now and then. But for the most part, they're fine. And then there's other games that are just horrible. And so, I think that, you know, there's still a lot of work to go when it when it comes to this particular project. Uh, I... I'm just stoked that I finally got it working, and uh, I'm also even more stoked about the uh, black Dreamcast there, because I've always wanted a black one. I just think it looks so much cooler than the white one. You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the way that looks, but I just, uh, I prefer that. Uh, I like all my consoles to be black, which is why I kind of hide away the ones that aren't black. Uh, the Super Nintendo's up there for now because that's what fit there at the time. Uh, but that's going to be rearranged soon enough. But yeah, um, <laughs> is it worth it? I, I don't know if it will be worth it to you or not. Uh, to me, it's kind of worth it just to load homebrew. Uh, you know, just because like you won't use as many CDs. However, if it's a homebrew game that I really enjoy, then I'd probably rather burn it to disc, just because I know it's going to work better. But, yeah, I'd say, uh, you know, if you, can pick, if you can pick up an SD card loader adapter for cheap, then why not? You know, like, I mean, if you're uh, going to, you know, get it off of eBay or something like that, um, you know, I... I I don't think that you should really pay extra to get it from a U.S. seller or, you know, wherever you live to get it faster. Uh, you know, get it cheap from China because China, it, it may take a month or two to get it, but it will if you do get it. <laughs> but if you go through eBay or something like that, you can easily get your money back if, uh, if you don't get your product. So, but yeah, there it is. There's the dream shell.